Let's continue with the part C of the problem 45. Again, this is a problem that we find in Seagull, and it's 45C, and it's in page 93. And this particular problem asks for the pH of a 1 millimolar solution, 1 millimolar solution, and this time the solution is a sodium salt of alanine. Sodium salt of alanine. So obviously here is the easiest one because if it's a sodium salt, then alanine has to be in the negative form. So we have the negative form of alanine that's going to be H2N CH COO minus and CH3, right? The amino group cannot be protonate, otherwise it's going to be uh, isoelectric alanine, right? So what happens is that when we put this thing in water, this is going to undergo hydrolysis. So the H2 and CH, CH3 in water is going to undergo hydrolysis and it's going to protonate, protonate the amino group plus CH3 plus hydroxide. Right, so that's what we have here. So that's going to be a hydrolysis. And if you write your only in the three letters code, it's going to be ala minus one uh, with water and they're going to hydrolysis and it becomes alanine zero plus hydroxide. So as you put this alanine in water, it's going to react with water and they go hydrolysis and it's going to generate the alanine zero and the hydroxide. So you know, we didn't know this concentration of hydroxide so that you can calculate the POH. So for this reaction here, we're going to see that we start with 10 to minus three, and then part of it is going to be hydrolyzed, X equivalent of it is going to be hydrolyzed, and it's going to give X of this and the X of hydroxide. So what we do here is that we uh, calculate those numbers, uh, and then determine the concentration of hydroxide. Let's do that. We have now uh, the equilibrium constant for this, which is going to be an equilibrium of hydrolysis, so a base, if you like. So x times x divided by 10 minus over x. And uh, if you write down this equilibrium here, this is going to be alanine zero times the concentration of hydroxide and the mount, uh, divided by the concentration of alanine minus. This is for the equilibrium constant for this hydrolysis, right? One trick that we can do here is that we can multiply this thing by the concentration of protons and divide by the concentration of protons, which doesn't alter the, the results, right? Uh, the idea of doing that is because if you do this, we are going to have here the KOH, right, and uh, a KW, better say, and we are going to see that the, the other one is the inverse of this reaction. If you were to write this reaction in the opposite direction, which is not the case, let me put a parenthesis here to remind that I'm not doing that for illustration. If I were to write this reaction in the opposite direction, ala zero, uh, in equilibrium, with ala minus one plus H, right? So this will be the, the reaction, the in reverse direction. If I were to do this thing, the Ka for this reaction would it be uh, equal concentration of alanine minus one times concentration of protons divided by the concentration of ala zero. If you look at uh, this relationship here and uh, this relationship in here, you see that this is just the inverse, right? So that's just the inverse. So that's what I want to say is that this K, uh, this K, 
H, constant of hydrolysis, is going to be equal Kw divided by Ka. But which Ka is this one? We are talking about the Ka uh, for the second proton, for the amino group, not for the carboxyl group. So it's better to use this thing as a Ka2 or Ka of like you single normally use alpha amine uh, plus NH3 plus. Okay, so we go in the table uh, to find this the Ka for this uh, again the same page in the appendix seven. We can go and find it, uh, find that. So the Kw we know that's ten to minus fourteen, and the Ka two now the Ka two is going to be. 2.04 10 to minus 204 10 to minus 10 204 10 to minus 10 all right so if you calculate that thing there let's see what we get one exponential 14 204 exponential 10 change signs equals 4.9 uh, 4.9 10 to the negative 5 that's the QH yeah 4.9 10 to the negative 5 so let's work a little bit more here get more space and then we have now 4.9 10 to the power of negative 5 equals uh, from the kh of this equation now i'm going to borrow from here back again you already know this relationship is going to be x squared over 10 to minus 3 minus x for this case in here the K or KH in this case is small, so this X can be neglected uh, for this particular case. Then we would have here as an approximation X divided by 10 to the power of negative 3. From here we then multiply this by that one, it's going to be 4.9 10 to the power of negative 8. Right? 4.9 exponential 8 and take the square root of that is going to give us uh, 2.2 then the power of negative 4 this uh, is the concentration of hydroxide right remember that this was the concentration of hydroxide the x we are solving for the concentration of hydroxide so the concentration of hydroxide is 2.2 10 to the power of negative 4. Therefore, the log of this is going to be the pOH. It's 3.7, uh, 3.65 approximately. Thus, the pH is going to be 14 minus 3.65, which gives us 10.35. Uh, that's the solution for 46C in Siegel's biochemical calculations.